This is amazing. Now we are going to see about NVIDIA NIM. So what is NVIDIA NIM? Using NVIDIA NIM, you are able to instantly deploy generative AI models. You are able to access latest community built AI models with an API optimized and accelerated by NVIDIA. You are able to deploy the latest community built AI models anywhere. At the end of this tutorial, we will have a user interface like this. When I upload an image and I ask what is in this image and it is going to identify a man and a woman are standing on a rocky cliff outlooking the ocean and you can see it clearly marks the different objects. I'm also going to try one more, going to ask what is in this image and you can see a happy family sitting on a grass with their dog and it identifies the object. Two models which we are going to try, one is a vision model and another one is a text model. We are going to integrate Cosmos 2 from Microsoft as the vision object detection model and then Llama 3 70 billion parameter as a text model. I'm going to teach you how you can integrate this with your own application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about NVIDIA NIM. We will be exploring more about the models catalog, how you can integrate API into your Python application and finally create a user interface. This model catalog is used for you to try these models and once you are happy with it, you are able to deploy it anywhere. So NVIDIA NIM involves two different things. One is trying those models, second is deploying those models. In our tutorial today, we will be focusing on trying those models and how you can integrate that with your application. So the integration part will be the same even after deploying the models. The only difference will be the endpoint, that is the URL. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can try these models and get it ready for you to deploy. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. First, in regards to the interface, as soon as you come to this page, you can click the try now button, then it will take you to the dashboard. I will put all the information in the description below. So here you can see the models for various tasks such as reasoning, visual design, retrieval, speech, biology, etc. So when taking reasoning, you got the text generation model such as Llama 370B, Mistral Lodge. In regards to the vision model, we got Cosmos 2, Pallygemma and much more. Similarly, for visual design, you are able to edit your images with these models. In regards to retrieval, we've got embedding models such as Embed QA4 from NVIDIA, ReRank, Mistral from NVIDIA. Next, we got speech to text model, predicting the 3D structure of a protein model, that is ESM Fold from Meta. To try this model, you can just click any of the model and then you can ask a question and you can see the response is getting generated. And you've got the Python code, node code and shell code here. Even there is the option to self host, which you can apply for. First, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Llama 370B instruct model in your Python application. So that is integrating API in Python app. Step number two. So in your terminal, pip install OpenAI chainlit and matplotlib. Chainlit and matplotlib we'll be using when we integrate our vision model and also set up a user interface. So for now, we are going to use only OpenAI. So after typing this command, click enter. Now export your NVIDIA API key like this and then click enter. So when you go to the interface, this is the place where you can generate your API key. So now after entering the API key, create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from OpenAI, import OpenAI, then import OS, then we are calling the OpenAI class where you're defining your base URL. If you see, integrate.api.nvidia.com slash v1 is the endpoint and here we are providing the API key. Next, chat.completions.create function and then setting the model name and the message. Here's the question which we are going to ask the model give me a meal plan for today with all these parameters and stream equals true. Then final step, we are going to loop through the response like this. That's it. So only this bit of code and we are able to integrate NVIDIA API in your Python application. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the meal plan is automatically getting generated in a streaming fashion and it's breakfast, mid morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, and evening snack. That's it. To integrate that in the Chainlit application, I modify this slightly. Here we got the settings. This is the function which is initiated when it starts the chat and on message 
is when we type something on the chat. So whenever we type something on the chat, it will receive the message and that message is passed to chat completions.create function. And we are printing or streaming the response in this block. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. Now it automatically opened this page, which you can see it's running in port number 8000 localhost. And in this chat interface, I can ask a question. What is your base model? And you can see it's automatically generating the response. Write a poem about AI. And you can see it's automatically writing the poem about AI in this interface. As simple as that. Now we have easily integrated this Llama 370 billion parameter model in the user interface. Now how we can integrate an image or an image analysis model. So next step which we are going to use Microsoft's Cosmos 2 model. So this model is used to identify objects or persons in the image. So we got detailed instruction if you want to try this using node application or shell command. In our case, we are going to use Python application. So I'm going to create a file called cosmos.py and then open it. So inside the file, import requests, base64, OS, next providing the invoke URL. This is the endpoint where the Cosmos 2 model is there. Next, we are going to open an image with open and this is the location where our image is. We are converting that to base64. And here is the soccer.png image. We are going to ask the large language model what is in this image. So converting to base64 is a requirement. Next, we are checking if the image size is a large or small. So if it's large, then it's going to respond saying that we need to use as its API. For now, we are going to use small model. So headers, we are providing authorization. That's where we provide our NVIDIA API key and accept is JSON. Now next, payload. That's where we are going to ask a question. So here as a user, we are asking a question, what is in this image? And here we are providing the image path with the base64 converted image. And then max tokens, temperature and top P. And then finally, response equals request.post and then printing a response. That's it. So just calling this endpoint, converting that image to base64, using that base64 image in our question and then request.post to invoke the API. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python cosmos.py and then click enter. And here is the response. You can see the content of the response. It says a young family is sitting in the grass with their dog. And we've got all this information. We can use this information to mark at which location in the image the person is sitting. So now we are going to implement a user interface for this. So here's the modified code. In this, I created a function called resize image. If the image size is larger, this is going to resize it. Next, same as before, we are using the same code as Cosmos 2, opening the image, having the headers, payload, and getting the response. So I'm putting all this thing in a get bounding boxes function. So what is bounding boxes? So this code will extract at which area it need to draw a box. So if the model says there's a person sitting here, it's also going to provide you at which location in that image the person is sitting. So we can extract that data and mark it in our image. So that's what we are going to do with plot image with boxes. And this function will automatically draw boxes around the person's image. And finally, in on message chainlit function, we are parsing every single message we sent in a chat interface. So as soon as we upload an image, that image will be taken and the image together with the message and the API key goes to get bounding boxes. And that will return the response text and the location of the boxes. Then plot image function will automatically plot the boxes in the image. And finally, we are sending a response. That's it. So in simple terms, Chainlit is a user interface to create a chatbot easily. So I didn't even provide how the user interface will look like and how I want a chat box, but just by calling this CL on message, it will automatically initiate that interface. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, chainlit run cosmosui.py and then click enter. Now again, you can see that it's running in this localhost port number 8000. I'm going to open this URL and here's the interface. Now I'm going to upload an image, the same soccer.png image, and going to ask what is in this image. And here is the response. A happy family sitting on the grass with their dog. 
and you can see the markings around those images. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to ask what is in this image. And here is a response with the marking. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate any of the models into your own application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.